Hi, my name is Dr. Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to show you how to manipulate someone's body in Photoshop, how to make them appear to be bigger or skinnier. Um, I'm going to use my son from several years ago as an example, just because he doesn't care if I edit him in Photoshop, and no adults want me to put them through the test for this video. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very easy. There are a couple of ways you can do this. Um, one is using the clone stamp tool, but I'm going to show you how to use the liquify tool because it's really easy and you can do it very quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually zoom in on the picture. And I'm going to go to filter, liquify, filter, liquify. From here, there are a few things I can do. One, I can choose my brush size. So I'm going to click up here in the top left. I'm going to click brush and look at my brush. For the example that I'm doing, I'm going to use a huge brush and I'm going to actually shrink his whole body down and make him look a little smaller. Realistically, what I would probably do is zoom way in and use a very small brush to do this on someone that I wanted to do this and make it look professional. For this example, we're not trying to make this look professional. We're trying to make this fun so that you can see the example. So the size is good. Pressure is at 100%. That's kind of a lot. Um, I'd probably more or less use about 50, but for again, for this example, I'm going to use 100 so that you can see a huge effect. Okay, then there are two options up here. One is the shrink or called the pucker tool, this will shrink him. And this is called the bloat tool, which will make him bigger. So, you know, I'm a guy, I might want some bigger muscles, I might make myself a little bigger. Girls usually tend to want to be a little skinnier in a picture, so you hear about airbrushing a model, so this is what they'll do. So here's how you would make yourself skinnier. You would click the pucker tool, you would click the brush over the part that you want to shrink, and you would just tap it. Watch what happens when I tap it once. See his arm just got a little smaller? Do his jaw a little bit, make his jaw a little skinnier, his hand, oh, let's do his hand again there. Uh, probably do his body just a bit. Might have been a little too much on the foot there, but that's okay. I think we're about good. making his shoulders a little less broad. Could even make his head. I'd probably use a bigger brush to make his head just a little smaller. There we go. I'm going to click OK. Let's zoom out of our image. OK, now here's the picture. So if I just sent you this picture, you wouldn't think anything of it. Here's the way he looks normally. Image. Watch the arms or the feet. Now I use this is an extreme example. I took a lot off of him. So if I was taking my time and doing this, I would have used, you know, a smaller brush and probably not done as much. But I want you to really be able to see the effectiveness of this. You can see in, in literally 30 seconds, I shrunk him down a few sizes. can imagine how effective this is. Now, this is his original picture. I can do the same thing, and I can actually make him bigger. Give him a little more size. There we go. Click OK. Here's him bigger. I could send someone this picture. They would never know. There's what he normally looks like. There's him bigger. All right. Thank you very much.